Hi, and welcome to Mathematics 19661, 1M1, and also welcome to the university. My name is Sean Holman, and I'm the lecturer for this unit, Mathematics 1M1. This is a, a unit that's taken by all first-year students in the Department of MACE. Uh, students study mechanical, aerospace, and civil engineering. And all these students take the unit. Uh, you can see my information here at the top of the document that I'm showing you. My name is Sean Holman, and also my email if you need to get in contact with me. Uh, another person that's involved with the organization of this unit is Colin Steele. Uh, Colin Steele is another uh, academic member of staff in the Department of Mathematics. And uh, his email is here. Colin organizes the diagnostic test, which you have either taken or should take soon and also the diagnostic follow-up, which is the first assignment in the class. So I'm going to, in this video, go over some of the uh, basics of the organization for this unit, uh, Math 19661. So the unit is going to be delivered using a blended learning, and this means that there is some material which is asynchronous and some material which is synchronous. So asynchronous material is material that you're expected to review on your own. So you go over whenever you choose. It, this, all this uh, asynchronous material will be posted on Blackboard. And there's a few different types of the asynchronous material. There are, first of all, pre-recorded videos. And these are all videos that I've recorded uh, going over the <clears throat> material in the course. Uh, these are like lectures. I explain the material and I, I use slides in these videos, and so the slides are also posted. You can have access to those slides on Blackboard. Additionally, there are some follow-up quizzes that you should look at after each video. So for every one of the pre-recorded videos, there's a short follow-up quiz, and the intention with the follow-up quizzes is that you uh, simply do them right after you've watched the video, and they reinforce the material that was uh, in that video. Most of the follow-up quizzes uh, involve a little bit of calculation, so you might be asked to uh, solve a few fairly simple problems, and so it's usually a good idea to have a pencil and paper ready to, in order to uh, solve those questions when you do the follow-up quiz. But the intention is for you to do them right after the video. These quizzes, the follow-up quizzes, are not uh, part of the mark in the class. They're just an informal way of uh, reinforcing the material in the video. So they're not required that you do them, but suggest that you do. Uh, other type of asynchronous material are the problem sheets uh, and solutions for the problem sheets, uh, which are given out each week. And so these are posted on Blackboard. And I do post the problem sheets and solutions at the same time. They're not in the same document, but the sheets and solutions are posted at the same time. Uh, and so you can work out the problems. Of course, I recommend you work out the problems without looking at the solutions and then check your, your solution if required. So you should do these problem sheets each week. So the idea is that each week you should look at the asynchronous material that's available on Blackboard and you should work through all of that material by Friday of that week. Uh, also, the part of the uh, class is that there are uh, tutorials on Wednesdays and ideally you should look at the problem sheet in advance of the tutorial on Wednesday. So at, you don't necessarily have to have worked through all the problems, but have looked at the problems and uh, seen where you might want to ask questions during the tutorial, which will occur on Wednesday. Okay, so that's the asynchronous material. Then another component of the course is the uh, synchronous component of the course. And this is uh, the sessions where you'll be either with me or with a tutor uh, <clears throat> for either review sessions or tutorial sessions. So there's two types of sessions, and they both occur on Wednesdays. So the review sessions occur on Wednesday, and these are large group sessions. Uh, there should be actually two review sessions for the class, and you'll be assigned to one of those. And so the class is roughly uh, separated in half, and half the students go to one, half the other. And you know, these are large groups. They're led by me. I'm the lecturer. And <clears throat> they're a, a bit more like a lecture, uh, given that the very large group, but there will be some interactive material. They include some uh, further review of the uh, mathematical concepts we've gone over and, and further examples that are related to the asynchronous material you've been studying. Uh, there will be some interactive elements to them, and so uh, these will involve uh, you uh, uh, using a 
device that's connected to the internet in order to answer some questions or uh, take a poll or maybe ask questions as well. And so it is a good idea to uh, have some sort of device, uh, whether it be a mobile phone or a laptop or a tablet that's connected to the internet so that you can uh, participate in those interactive elements. Okay, uh, you'll also be able to ask questions. So part of these interactive elements, uh, one of the interactive elements is that you can ask questions. And I, I'm going to use a, a website that's called Slido uh, in order to uh, facilitate asking questions because the group is going to be quite large. And we'll see how this works uh, in the first review session. Uh, another comment about the review sessions is that they are going to be recorded and the recordings are going to be posted on Blackboard each week. Okay, so that's the review sessions, the large group sessions. And then there are also going to be smaller group sessions, which are the tutorial sessions. And these will be led by a tutor, not me. And each student, each of you will also be assigned to one tutorial session, which will happen uh, in the afternoon on Wednesday. So for the tutorial, the main idea is that you'll go over the problem sheet for the given week. Uh, if you have any questions on the problem sheet, you can ask those at the tutorial. And so you really get the most out of these if you look at the problem sheet, look at the questions in advance of the tutorial and think about what you might want to ask. Uh, additionally, uh, there will be some new problems uh, which are not part of the problem sheet, which uh, will be given in the tutorial. And the tutor can help you work through these uh, either by yourself or with a small group of students if you'd like. Okay, so this is the tutorial sessions. Once again, the main idea is that you should prepare for those by looking at the problem sheet in advance. Uh, the tutorial session each week. Okay, so uh, an important part of the class is the assessment. So these are the how we test you and what your mark is based on. So the mark in this unit is, is based on uh, coursework and final assessment. The coursework is going to be 20% of the final mark and the coursework will consist of two components. The first one is the diagnostic follow-up assignment. So this is not the diagnostic test. You will have taken or take soon the diagnostic test, uh, <clears throat> which is an initial test just to see how much mathematics you've learned in the past. Uh, and then based on how you do or wh what you answer in the diagnostic test, you are assigned certain follow-up sessions or sections, and those are what compose the diagnostic follow-up assignment. And you have to complete that by the fourth week of the semester. There'll be a lot more details about this uh, in the diagnostic follow-up sessions, which you will uh, be assigned to in the first week of the semester. But that's going to be worth 10% of the mark. Then there also is going to be an assignment uh, <clears throat> of the midterm assignment, although actually it happens towards the end of the term uh, in week 11 of the term, and that's going to be worth 10%. And so the midterm assignment is going to be something you complete online. Uh, and actually the diagnostic follow-up is also completed online. Uh, then the final assessment is going to be an exam. It's a written exam, which you will take in January. And so uh, details of the exam will, will follow closer to the time. But the exam is worth 80% of the mark in the class. All right. And so uh, as you go through the semester, I expect you'll want to ask questions about the material or maybe some of the organization of the course. And for questions that relate to the material or the content of the course, so the, the actual mathematics, I do prefer that you use the Blackboard discussion board. Uh, and so when you post a discussion board, this is uh, public, so all students can see it. And uh, then I can answer, or other students can answer, and that way uh, all students can possibly benefit from the question. So that's why I prefer that you post on the discussion board on Blackboard. I'll show you, uh, I'll give you a little tour of the Blackboard site for the unit uh, after I finish going through this document and uh, I'll show you where the discussion board is. <clears throat> All right, you, you can also email me. So if there's a, if you have a question or comment that's not appropriate for the discussion board, then you, you can email me. My email is at the top of the document and also here, sean.holman at manchester.ac.uk. And uh, if you want to ask me questions uh, before or after the review sessions, uh, when I'm not I'm busy, that, that's all right as well. And finally, I, I'm also going to have an office hour, a weekly office hour, and uh, you can ask, you can come to the office hour and ask any questions you want then as well. So I, got, I haven't set the time for the office hour yet, but I will provide details about the office hour uh, once we start. 
So for this unit, there's no obligation to buy a, a textbook or any additional material other than what uh, will be available to you through Blackboard. Uh, but some students want to have some additional uh, material, a, a textbook or something like that. And that's fine. Uh, there, so, and there are some recommended textbooks that go along with this. So <clears throat> the text that uh, most closely accompanies the unit is this one. I'm, I'm not really following exactly this text. And so the explanations and ordering of material in the text is probably different than what we do, but it does include uh, most of the same material. And if you want to have some uh, extra exercises or additional perspective, different perspective on the material, you could get this textbook. It does say seventh edition here. The edition is really not that important for us. I mean, the editions sometimes involve a little bit of a uh, little bit of new material, changing the order of the section. But I mean, if you got the earlier edition, it wouldn't really be that much of a problem. Uh, <clears throat> also, there's another book uh, called Advanced Engineering Mathematics uh, by Krasig, and uh, that is also useful. And that book is also recommended for the next mathematics class you'll take. Uh, in the second semester, 1M2 as well. Uh, and I might comment as well, there are some copies of these textbooks that are available through the library. If you don't want to buy one, you can sometimes get one through the library. And this includes actually uh, electronically for the, the book by Stroud. So this book by Stroud, it is possible to get electronic e-edition of the, of the textbook through the library. And that that's linked from the Blackboard site. I'll show you where that is when I give you the tour of the Blackboard site later. Uh, another possible source of additional material is what is called the HELM material. HELM stands for Helping Engineers Learn Mathematics. And this is actually a, a very long document that was developed by Colin Steele, uh, who is uh, organizing the diagnostic test, as I said earlier, and is posted at this website. Uh, it's completely free, just a, a long PDF that you can have. And I'm actually uh, going to be referencing uh, sections in the helm uh, for each of the asynchronous videos. And so uh, for, well, actually most of the asynchronous videos, there's some corresponding sections in the helm material. And uh, I'll tell you where that is uh, in the descriptions of the video. And so if you want to look at additional material for each video, you can look at the helm material. And this is completely free. Simply download this PDF. Okay, so uh, that's most of the organization of the course. I'm going to talk a little bit about the uh, topics that we actually cover, uh, mostly just naming them. Uh, so there are actually a lot of topics in the course. It covers a very wide variety of material. Some of it is going to be review for some people, uh, but not for everyone. And, and we want to make sure everyone is on the, the same level starting out. And so if it's too much review for you, just keep in mind it may not be review for everybody. Right, so the, the first section we'll cover is going to be uh, calculus, call it intermediate calculus, but uh, we cover the basics of calculus, um, differentiation, integration. There's some new material here for that will be new for most people, I believe, diff partial differentiation, another topic called Macaulay brackets. The second section, uh, I think probably is new for everybody. Uh, this is about double integrals. So these are integrals with their, we have a function of more than one variable, and also line integrals. Uh, which we'll study, and then look at numerical methods. We study two types of numerical methods, methods of numerical integration, is trapezoidal and Simpson's rule, and then methods for solving equations, uh, the bisection and newton raphson method. Uh, then we look at vectors, we cover basic vector operations, scalar and vector products, and some applications of vectors. And then we look at complex numbers, uh, definition, basic operations with complex numbers, nothing too complicated with complex numbers. Then ordinary differential equations, ODEs. I look at a number of different methods for solving ODEs and also some properties of ODEs, ordinary differential equations. And finally, the last topic is probability. So we introduce you to mathematical theory of probability. This is all the material in the course. And of course, as you go through in the corresponding weeks, uh, you will see this in a lot more detail. Okay, so this is the end of this document. I do now want to give you a tour of the Blackboard site for the course. Okay, this is the Blackboard site for the course. Uh, well, you can see I have a student mode on, which means this is probably what it should look like for you now. There's a different 
way I view it where I can see a bit more, but uh, this is roughly what you should see. If you have a different device, I'm using a laptop here. If you're using a different device, it might look a little bit different, but that's basically the material here. So there's not very much here right now, but this is the, the, the main area, of course, content. One thing I want to point out that sometimes people miss when they first begin using Blackboard is that on the left-hand side of the screen, there's this uh, pull-out menu, course menu, it seems to be called. If you click on that, then you have these other options here. All right, and so the main section is this course content, course content, and that's where we are now. You know, we can always click on the course content and it comes to here. Uh, so here is the welcome material. Uh, the welcome video, which you are watching now, should be in this section, so probably you already are familiar with this section. The document that I went over earlier in the video, the, the overview, is the document which is available right here, the course overview. Information about the diagnostic exercise can be found here, mathematics diagnostic exercise. Uh, you, as I said several times, you should have either already taken the diagnostic uh, exercise, not diagnostic test, or be about to take it. Uh, and so there's information about that here. Uh, and there will be a, a assessment based on the diagnostic exercise, which you will be uh, doing uh, in week four, I need to complete by week four of the semester. Uh, this section here, assessment and feedback, actually includes some old exams. So you may not want to look at these straight away, but when it gets close to January and you want to revise for the exam, this is where you can find some old exams that will be similar to the exam uh, that you'll be taking this year. There's uh, exams up to 2017. All right. This next section is the discussion board. So I mentioned this when I was going over the overview document. This is where I'd like you to ask questions. There's uh, one post here. I've just put in a welcome post, uh, but you'll be able to uh, see more posts when, once people add things. So please ask your questions in, in this discussion board. Uh, there's also as uh, grades. And so once you've taken the diagnostic exercise, you'll be able to see how you've done uh, here. And then also you should be able to see uh, your results from other assessments as you go through this uh, course, the diagnostic uh, follow-up assignment, and then also the, the coursework assignment that you take later. Uh, there's a few other sections here, so learning resources. So there's some general information about academic malpractice and plagiarism. This is important that you review. So uh, you may not want to review it from this course, but at some point you should have a look at this information about academic malpractice and plagiarism, information about the library, some information about study skills. And so uh, the Two important things here are these reading lists. And so this is where you can find information about the uh, textbooks that I mentioned earlier. So if you click on this reading list, it should take you uh, to the library. Uh, well, so there's a lot more units here because I have more units, but you should be able to then see the reading list for this unit, Math 19661. So these are the two textbooks that I mentioned, and you can find information about getting them from the library by, by doing this. All right, and then the helm material is here. So uh, I mentioned this uh, helm material, and I will be giving references to sections in the helm material after each video or most of the videos. And so uh, if you want to find the helm material, it is there. Uh, there's also some mathematical formula tables, and uh, you can have a look at that if you'd like. All right, so if you go back to the course content, so right now there's just the uh, content for week one, first week of the semester. Uh, I will be adding the content for the rest of the weeks as we go forward, but I have week one here so that you can see the general setup. So in each week there will be a folder with the material for that week. And here's the one for week one. So uh, you can look at the overview of what you're supposed to do during the week. Uh, so there's a rough breakdown for how long you should be set spending on different tasks related to the course. As it says, if you're spending a lot longer than the links that are shown here, uh, I'd suggest you reach out to, to myself or someone else and, and maybe ask for some help, and we can uh, try to work something out. Uh, the lecture slides that are used in the videos are shown here, so you can download the lecture slides. These are kind of like notes for the course. Uh, you can use those however you want. Uh, then there will be uh, these Slido links, so these are the... Uh, uh, this is the website that I'm going to use to allow students to ask questions and also to 
uh, do some polls during the review session. And so you look at these uh, links here. You click on this one, for example. You go to Slido, you'll be able to type a question, and then we'll be able to see this question live during the, uh, the session, the review session. Uh, there will all be, also be some polls that I will do through this website, Slido. So these are uh, links for each of the two review sessions uh, in week one. Uh, then the videos are here in this folder, week one videos and follow-up quizzes. So if you want, you can go and look at all the videos for week one here. Uh, but you don't need to do that until it is week one. And then the, there's links to the follow-up quizzes under each of the videos. Okay. And then uh, here's the problem sheets. So as I said, the solutions are available immediately, uh, but you should try to do the problem without looking at the uh, problem sheets first. And uh, I do recommend that you look at some of the problems before the tutorial that you, you'll have on Wednesday. So that's everything that I wanted to say, uh, everything I wanted to do to uh, orient you to the unit. So uh, welcome to uh, the university, welcome to this course unit, and uh, I'll look forward to seeing all of you uh, during the review sessions. If you do want to ask any questions already uh, before things get going, please feel free to uh, post something in the discussion board or send me an email. So I will see you in week one.